In this video, we will learn about query string attribute in ASP.NET Core Web API application. This attribute is used to bind the data which is available in the query string of the URL. If you are using this from query attribute at the parameter of the action method, then this will force the Web API to get the data only from the query string of the URL. If you are passing the data in the multiple places, for example, route body, query string, header, etc. If you want to bind the data only with query string, in this scenario, we can use from query attribute. Let's see how it works. Go to Visual Studio. We are using same application that we have created in this ASP.NET Core video series. In this application, we have countries controller. Inside this controller, we have simple action method. Now, instead of this complex data, let's use simple data string name. Now, change the code. Now, replace this post method with get method. We can use from query attribute in this parameter. So, from query, save and run this application. See the base route. First, we have to append API and then controller name. Copy this URL from here. Open a postman to test this method. Paste the URL, append API, and then controller name countries. Uh, let's pass some data using query string. Let's say name equal China. Then click send button. Here we got the data. Now pass the similar data in the route. So stop the execution. In the route, let's add name. Run this application again. Append the name here. Let's say Dubai. See here, this is the route part and this is the query string part. By default, if you are using a query string, this URL part will ignore from the binding. Binding will done with query string part only. Now send the request. You can see here, we got the data from the query string um, and from query attribute is used to force the application to bind the data only from the query string. Now, let's learn how it works with complex data. Go to Visual Studio, stop the execution. Now, instead of this string data, we can use country model that we created uh, in our previous video. Update the code here, country.name, uh, change the method HTTP POST because we can send the data in the query string and in the body also to remove this name from the route. We are using from query attribute in parameter here to force the application to bind the data only with the query string. Now save and run this application. In the postman, change the method post and remove this name from URL. Then go to body, choose raw, then type JSON. Here enter three data. Name, let's say India. Capital, Delhi. Population, let's say 7000. In this URL, using query string, we can pass all three data with different values. Let's say capital, Beijing, and population, let's say 4000. Then click. Before click the send button, here put a breakpoint here. Now click the send button. See in this country object, we have the data. Um, we got this entire data from the query string. Whatever the data from the body that will be ignored. Okay, now let's say I want to pass only two properties from the query string. 
then i want to pass all the three properties from the body let's see uh, how this scenario will work so remove this population from here send the request again see here in the country object we got two values in the integer data type we got the default value 0 so he doesn't take any value from the body because we are using this from query attribute it means it will bind the data only with the query string now stop the execution let's use multiple from query attribute in the action method let's create one more from query attribute then one more parameter integer id we are using this from query attribute for primitive and complex data types now save and run this application again here without changing um, the url under the body send the request in the country object you can see here You can see here we got uh, two values and uh, in the integer type we got default value 0. See here in the id also uh, we got default values. Because we are not passing uh, any value to this id. Now click continue. In the postman uh, let's pass all the value. id equal to let's say 24 and then population Walter, let's say 7000 then click the send button again see here in the id we have 24 in the country object we got all the data values this is how we can use from query attribute in our asp.net co web application thanks for watching this video